Hey, this is Lindsay from Deep Valley, and you are watching MB. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from A Music Blog, yeah, and I'd like to welcome you to an interview with Lindsay from Deep Valley. Hello! Hello, How how's are it you? going? I'm good, thank you. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to have a chat. Yeah, of course. So just how's Julia and the baby girl doing? So good. That's so good to hear. So cute, yeah. Julie sent me a photo today of her cute little, plumpy little, like, <laughs> five-week-old baby. Maybe, no, she's older than that now. She's... She's a little over two months, so no, I guess she's like nine nine weeks old now, yeah. Oh, that's awesome to hear. She's so cute. It's really cute seeing Julie as a mom, too, you know? It's like, it's it's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. And then you've now embarked on this tour with Wolf Mother. Yeah. Four nights in. How's that been treating you? So good. Yeah. They're such a great band, like so much energy, and um, just like really sweet people, and um, yeah, it was, it's like, it's just such an honor to be along with them. We met them... Let's see. Well, they came to a show of ours several years ago in L.A., and then we kind of, like, became friends with them in in Milan, like, a couple years ago. We played a festival together. So, yeah, they hit us up, like, a while back and asked us to do this tour, and I was like, yes. And But everyone's like, but Julie's going to have an infant. I'm like, we'll figure out a way to do it. So, <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah, our good friend Liv is filling in for her. And she's killing it right now. Well, I saw the Throwback Thursday you even posted from you guys in Italy. Oh, yeah. The whole thing with you and Wolf Mother. When you think back to the first time you met those guys, what memory comes to mind? Um, well, hair. Yeah. So much hair. <laughs> you know? I just, like... It's very true. Yeah. And at the time, too, I had, like, long, long, hair, long hair. And Julie had big hair. And everyone like had long big hair and it was just like there was a photo. Of it's all true, of that us, photograph. And it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Such a hair like hair bands unite. But yeah, I don't know. I after that, like right when I got home after that tour, I just kinda like decided to change it up. So Well it looks really good. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I really like the photograph you posted of just taco time all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, is that something you look for when you're on the road? Is that kind of like a go to meal for you guys? I mean, yeah, we definitely eat a lot of Mexican food, um, being from Southern California, but the thing is that, like, we have really high standards of Mexican food. Okay. You know, because, like, I'm originally from San Diego, which is, like, you know, like, 40 minutes from Mexico, so, you know, you get to other regions of the world, and it starts to taste less authentic. Yeah. But, you know, that's okay. Well, in the first interview that we did a couple years ago, you actually told us that your dressing room is nudist. Oh, is, yeah? Is that something you guys still keep, too? Um, I wonder if I was, like, serious or not. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely... It just depends on, like, who's there. If it's just, like, the girls, then, yeah, it's, like, nudist. But if there's, like, any guys around, then we're, like... We have, like, a strict knocking policy with, like, male crew, you know? Yeah. Because it, like, we've had, we've worked with some weirdos who have, like, just barge in on us. And it was like, you're done. So, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. If it's, it's good to have, like, a little safe zone. And, yeah, if it's just the girls, then sure. It's like, it's, you know, we've all, you know, we share, like, rooms and, like, see each other naked and in a very unglamorous way all yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, three years back, you actually dropped your debut record, and now uh-huh. there's a new album in the works. Yeah. It's a little bit of a mystery. It's like a, little, a big secret everyone know. wants to know a little bit more about, so I'm going to try to pry something sure. out of you today. Sure, do some prying. Yeah, exactly. How is it coming along? Where are you at with it right now? It's more or less done. Okay. Yeah, so um, we've kind of just like, we haven't had a firm deadline on um, when it needed to be done by, so we've... We've had the bulk of it done for a while, but then we'll be like, let's just write a few more songs. And so we keep doing that. And so we have more and more and more songs. And it's kind of funny because a lot of the songs are like we a lot of them we've never played live yet. And and they're so good and I love them, but it's like so crazy to imagine playing them live, you know. Um, But uh, yeah, it will be it's definitely coming out this year for sure. And. We have an album name, but we haven't released it yet. Okay. And we're working on album artwork at the moment, and um, we just have to get it sequenced. 
So that's like that's been like the big like not finished thing is the sequ- sequencing that's been the big you know mystery. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. We just shot a a new video, and uh, yeah, it's all it's all like starting to finally like happen. You know, come things. together. Yeah. Because you shared Royal Jelly late last year, the yeah. video. Yeah. So I guess it's this next video, the next taste people are going to have of what's to come. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically. You yeah, know, it was more like just sort of us um, just dealing with stuff on the business end of it, trying to, like, get that wrapped up. And, you know, um, obviously Julie had a baby. Um, but that didn't really slow us down because we kind of, like, Liv came on the last tour and filled in for her while Julie was like in her third trimester and uh yeah we have we have this record and we like can't wait to put it out ultimately and it will be out shortly and we'll have new stuff out very soon yeah when I think back to the first time I saw Deep Valley I remember seeing you too I loved the hair the clothing the music it just seemed like the total package to me cool when it comes to your clothes I was wondering are you a thrifter do you have a go-to store for all the cool things that you wear well I used to do a lot of thrifting when I was young I was like, growing up in the suburbs, I thought thrift stores were so fun and, like, like a little treasure hunt. And then as I got a little older, I got, like, a little lazy with clothes. <laughs> it's a lot of work. You know, thing. and I don't, like, yeah, I get a little bit um, impatient. But, yeah, there are some really good spots in L.A. that aren't really, like, thrift stores. They're, like, vintage stores, but they're, like, they're, like, our, it's, like, the top, like, picks. You know what I mean? Like, they buy good stuff so it's not just like any random like forever 21 yeah. like thing that someone just like donated to goodwill or whatever like wasteland is a great a great vintage store in la um american vintage there's quite a few i actually used to work at buffalo exchange when i was like 20 um that's where i met a lot of my close friends but yeah i just i wear a lot of the same stuff like i don't Like, I wear a lot of the same clothes over and over again, and I kind of have a thing now where I, like, try not to spend money on clothes. Like, I try to, like, get, like, you know, because we have some, like, companies who will give us stuff, which is awesome. This company, Motel Rocks, it's, like, this British company, and they're the the coolest, raddest, like, stuff, which is, like, obnoxious wild prints, like, we like, and, like, so they hook us up with cool stuff, and then, I don't know, I like to get, like, hand-me-downs from my friends and stuff, you know? I don't know. I think it's kind of fun to do that way. I don't know. This was like my friend's and I kind of like accidentally stole it from her. <laughs> accidentally? Well, like it was like ended up, I was like subletting my friend's apartment and it was there and I didn't like know whose it was and I was wearing it for a while and I got really attached to it and then she was like texting me because she saw it on Instagram and she's like, is that my jacket? I was like, probably. I don't know whose jacket it was. It just like appeared one day and then like she's like, oh man, well one day I'll get it back from you and then I was like, okay. And then sure she, you will. <laughs> and then she was like, I like wore it for like a year. And then she was like, do you think I can get it back this year? And I was like, I don't know, man. I might have to buy it from you. She's like, it's okay. You can have it. Because I've given her a lot of clothes. Yeah. So. Yeah, I do. I do a lot of like clothes swaps with friends and stuff. And, yeah. Tell me a bit about these crazy jumpers we've Ooh. been seeing you in. Because they just look amazing. Dude, the jumpers are so fun. Um, we have a good friend in LA, Michelle Rose, who... Uh, custom makes our outfits for us our stage outfits um we used to have a friend we still have a friend allison marie dutra aka kitten hawk who um was the first one to start custom making us pieces she's not really in la anymore um we haven't done stuff with her in a while um michelle rose has been making all of our current stuff and she's so good like It's so fun. We go fabric shopping with her in downtown L.A. We find the craziest prints, too. And we find, like, we'll find, like, the most obnoxious, like, (laughs) hideous prints and then, like, put them together and make a, and then be like, can you make us a, like, leotard with fringe, like, split down the middle like this? She'll be like, yeah, it's so cool. It's so cool, like, having a, a dream, like, fantasy outfit in your mind and then having someone with, like, the skill to, like, just, like, execute it perfectly. It's pretty wild. She's she's so talented. She has a store that she just opened in L.A. called Space Dust. Okay. That's in Echo Park. And it's, like, selling a lot of her stuff that she designs and a lot of just all local and um, just, like, cool, like, handmade, interesting fashion and stuff. 
the Wolf Mother boys were actually telling us in our interview a couple, I don't know, like an hour back. They're like, we need to get some more tassels. We need to step up our game after watching you guys perform. <laughs> I know, right? It's so funny. It's like a tassel <laughs> off. Tassels are so fun. Yeah. They're kind of crazy, though, because, like, sometimes they, like, fuck up my guitar playing. Oh, they get tangled? Yeah, they'll get tangled oh, and no. shit. But I'm like, that's all part of it, you know? It's part of that, like, unpredictability, <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, just to wrap things up, because I know you soon have to hop on that nice, beautiful stage out there. I know. I'm so excited. So excited. Yeah. Anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing? Hmm. Well, um... I don't know. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting what we do. Um, and maybe see you soon at a show. I just thank you so much for your time today. Yeah. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. Bye.